I'm very excited for this. I have been wanting to do this for a long time. Please welcome retail investigative reporter, Keitha Prabhakar. Thanks for having me here. Thank you for being here. Um, yeah, in life, I mean, if you weigh a certain number, that's what you weigh. If you, I mean, you, you should, there should just be constants. And I feel like your size is your size. And shouldn't there be some regulation to sizing? You would think. And I've been doing this for a really long time. And this really makes me angry. I mean, check out what we found here. So we found these pair of jeans, right? Um, these are a size six. Okay. But if you see that we actually measure them, they're 25 inches. Uh, okay. These ones are... 25 inches is small, small. and six is small. Okay. Right, this is a size six as well. This one, when we measured it, was a size 28 inch. Okay. So check that out. Now these ones, also a size six, right? See all the difference here? This one was actually 30 inches. So, so wow. the, these retailers really get you where, you where it matters, which is at your wallet. Well, really, but yeah, not. we have to make the connection to the money and the clothes. So the thing is with the vanity sizing, people are spending, the concept is that people are spending more money because they're happy about the size they are. So you're going into a store and you're saying, oh, wow, I'm only a size six. I thought I was an eight. I must have lost weight. That's and exactly I feel like it. They're not just preying on your wallet, but they're preying on your psyche. You on feel your better emotion. about yourself. And why are we being defined by sizes? I mean, that's another thing, too. Like, why are we, why are we, if we're a size six, why are we being defined as a size six? I mean, shouldn't it be about body type and how we feel about these things? Well, I'm, I it's think fashion elitism is what is going on. I think you need to have a size and know what, in your mind, you know what your size is. But I mean, I think that you should have a pair of jeans at your house that whether you like them or not or want to wear them, they just are those jeans that you know if they're getting snug, you've gained a little. If they're getting loose, you've lost a little. And you go out and regard, you, you have to try things on and regardless of what the numbers say, you want to feel good about yourself. That's exactly I mean, it. Right? And you have to, uh, I think, you have to know the brands of the, re you have to know what brands work for you. And, and if you can shop, because if you shop online, you have to know that a six is going to be a six, otherwise you're going to spend all this money return shipping. Right, and that's exactly what we're showing here. Look at all these different brands, Bethany. They all are size sixes, but they're all so different. So if you knew what your true size six was or your true size, again, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be about these sizes and how these brands sort of define you. Size sixes aren't real. They well, aren't. So go ahead. I was just going to say. There's no size six. There's really no size six. I mean, it's so ambiguous that, and that's what we wanted to show here today.